Um, I live in Hanale, which is a very special place. And I can say that this is like the closest place you're going to get to heaven till you actually die and get there. This is it. This is where Adam and Eve was from. You know, this is it. So I sit here on Waioli River. You know, I carry the, the knowledge that we all have been missing, which is the art of carving with ads, no power tools. This is our way, you know. So we have, uh, I've been trying, you know, to teach the kids every chance I get to bring people to learn about the canoe and the va'a and learn about our culture. So, you know, it's, the kids are growing up today, they're moving away. They're trying to go find a better life out there. And this is it. Their life should be here. They should be surrounded by what they do. And the impact around here is not, is not an impact for the world. It's the impact here should be for the people. It should be about the people. When tourists come and see, they want to come see the people. They want to come see the people of the land. You know, if I go in Africa, I want to see the Africans. If I go to Japan, I want to see the Japanese people. I want to see the culture. What do they do? So when you come here, we have to show them that the Polynesians is still here. And yes, come visit us. We are still here. Being that said, um, today, my issues is on the land. It's about the burials that is on the land today that people are removing because they want to build a beautiful home on the beach. But they have to realize that all these beaches were our burial sites that's where our families buried their families is on our family land so those lands supposed to stay with the heirs forever and you know it's just a hard road but we've been fighting it we've been doing the right thing we've been you know i've been trying to show up at every meeting i can just to make a difference for the kids just to show that we was there we have a say and we still will have a say